Here's an interesting question for you coming into the new year is this, how many clients did you fire in 2021? If the answer is zero, then that signals to me as a coach that you don't take your time as seriously as you should. You see, we all have a value of our time, right? And we can all figure it out really fast, by the way. We can take the, about 2,000 hours, the average agent works about 2,000 hours a year, and divide it by our gross income for last year, and we'll know exactly how much we're making per hour. So if you made $100,000, for instance, divide by 2,000, that's about 50 bucks an hour. If you made 200,000, it's about $100 an hour, and so forth and so on. So let's assume that you're at the top, you know, you're doing two, $300,000 a year. So your time is worth $100, $150 an hour. Very true for many, many of my coaching students and far more than that. But they're not saying no enough. And what I mean by that is if you have somebody that's wasting an hour of your time and your hour is worth $100 an hour, even if it's only worth $50 an hour, or if it's worth on the other side, $300 an hour, imagine every hour you waste, you're just tearing that money up and flushing it down the toilet. That doesn't make a lot of sense. And it's not efficient and it's not serving you or your family because you could be taking that same hour and spending it at home with your family or your kids. You could be on vacation, right? You could really be investing that in you know, enhancing relationships, both inside and outside of your business. So when are you saying no and how often you're saying no? And who should you say no to? Well, I wanna say no to buyers and sellers that are not ready, willing, and able to do business. That's number one. They're not ready, willing, and able to do business. They're out the door. I'm not gonna work with them. I'm gonna say no to them. Also, I'm gonna say no to people that are just unpleasant to work with. <laughs> My life's too short. I don't need to work with people that are unpleasant to work with. So I cut those people off. I say no to them. I say no to meetings that I know aren't going to go anywhere, right? I say no to events that don't serve me or don't, you know, fill me up in some way. Don't give me something back that I need out of it. I say yes to things that fill me up emotionally, fill me up spiritually, fill me up in a sense that I know I can be giving back to the community. I, I say yes to things that help me and my family move forward. I say yes to things that help my business move forward. I say yes to what I know will drive my success going forward. So the challenge for a lot of you is why aren't we saying no, no more often? Here's the challenge. Here's why you're not saying no. The challenge is you're not living in abundance. You're living in scarcity. You see, the people that say yes to everything are running in fear mode. They're afraid that if they don't say yes to this listing, this buyer, this event, this meeting, that they're going to miss something, that there's going to be something that's going to miss. They're going to miss a transaction, a sale, a listing. And they feel that way because they live in scarcity. They feel like there's never going to be another one around the corner. This is the last one of the month. This is the last one of the year. I'm never going to get another buyer, another seller, another escrow. That's scarcity. The agents that live in abundance know that if they say no to this buyer that's not ready or willing to buy with me, there's another one that's around the corner. They say next, right? They know if they say no to a seller that's going to overprice their home, there's another one around the corner. They say next. They say no to meetings that aren't going to go anywhere. Why? Because there's another meeting around the corner. They don't need to embrace every little thing because there's an abundance of things out there, right? So that's the message for you today is start saying no more often, value your time, and look for those things that are going to be a yes, that you really want to enjoy doing and say yes to and live in abundance. Hope this helps you today. Go out there and shake the money tree, make something happen. And if you want to get involved with coaching, you want some accountability coaching to take your business to the whole other level, join us over at eRealEstateCoach.com. We've got a coaching program there called The Path. First two weeks is free. Just jump in, take it for a test drive. We've got 19 weeks of lead generation coaching over there, hundreds of downloads. You can use in your business checklist and forms and systems and emails and drip campaigns, all kinds of things. And then we give you three live coaching sessions every single week. So jump in there, check it out, see if it's right for you. Love to see you there. Have a great day. Good selling.